Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we'll look into simple example related to linear equations in variable. That's a steamer or boat problem, which is very familiar, and you will find it in lot of competitive exams, and also maybe in the eighth grade exams also. Let's so let's try to understand this simple problem and what's the logic behind this. Let's read the problem. A steamer goes downstream from A to B in uh, 8 hours. It covers the same distance upstream in 10 hours. If the speed of the stream is 2 km per hour, find the speed of the steamer in still water and the distance AB. So before moving forward with the problem, we should understand two points very important. What is the meaning of downstream? What is the meaning of upstream? For that what I will do? Let us say that there are two points A to B. Okay, let us say the points are A to B. Now, this is my travel downstream. Downstream means you are traveling with the stream. That means the speed of the boat will be more. Whereas upstream is you are traveling against the stream. Now, how the stream is traveling? The stream is going in this direction. Let us say in this direction th the stream is going on. Okay, It may not be that much variation in depth but uh, just to make you understand that I have taken. Okay, Now you see here there are two speeds here. One is the speed of the stream and another is the speed of the steamer. So we have two speeds. Speed of stream and speed of steamer. So let us say stream is water, speed of stream that is, we will say stream speed and we also have speed of steamer. Okay, right. When you go downstream what happens is, when you go downstream what happens is both of them will be in the same direction. That means if I am moving from A to B, the streamer will be going in this direction and you can see that the speed of the stream is also in the same direction. So, now what, what we know here, we know the speed of the stream is 2 kilometers per hour. That means we know this is 2 kilometers and let us say the speed of the steamer is x okay now can you see what will be the speed in this direction it will be nothing but equal to x and 2 because both of them are in the same direction you are moving in the same direction so the relative velocity will be nothing but sum of the absolute velocity so what will be the speed in this case the speed is nothing but equal to x plus 2 x plus 2 kilometers per hour. Now let's come to the upstream scenario. In upstream we know that the river let's put down the same thing here I will say stream speed I will say steamer speed the steamer speed okay let us see that what's happening now the stream the stream is moving in the same direction like earlier that means stream is moving in this direction and that is nothing but equal to 2 kilometers per hour the stream is going in the same direction but the boat is coming from now B to A that means the boat is coming in this direction so you are traveling now from B to A this is A to B downstream B to A upstream means against the stream the stream is traveling in this A to B direction now what will happen to the speed let us see now, now steamer stream speed is in A to B direction 
but the steamer is moving B to A direction because you want to reach from B to A and obviously if the steamer speed is not more than the stream speed the boat will not move now what will be the relative velocity or the vela speed in this particular case it will be nothing but equal to x minus 2 kilometers per hour so this point you have to be very clear with the downstream and upstream problems what you have to remember there are two speeds one is stream speed and the another is the steamer speed when you are going downstream both of them will add you make you to go move more distance in less time whereas when you go upstream the river is against you the flow is against you that means you will cover less distance in the same time okay now once that is clear now let's go back to the problem a steamer goes downstream from a to b in eight hours that means time is eight hours and we know speed speed is nothing but equal to x plus 2 okay it covers the same distance upstream in t hours 8 10 hours that means when I go upstream I need 10 hours you can see that I need more time because I am going with less speed now now what is the speed here the speed is nothing but equal to x minus 2 but the distance covered is same okay so what we are saying a steamer goes downstream a to b in 8 hours because the speed is the speed of the boat plus speed of the stream x plus 2 because both are going in the same direction when you are going upstream this boat is going opposite to the flow so the distance the speed will be x minus 2 so it needs more time to cover the same now we know the distance a b is equal so we can equate these two distances I can say 8 into x plus 2 equal to 10 into x minus 2 that gives me 8x plus 16 equal to 10x minus 20 or minus 2x equal to minus 36 or x equal to 18 kilometer per hour so we know the speed of the steamer is nothing but equal to 18 kilometers per hour this is what we have to find out not only that we have to find out the distance a b what is a b distance let's find it out a b is nothing but equal to you can take any one of them speed into time so i can say 8 into 18 plus 2 that's equal to 18 to 20 that's equal to 160 kilometer you want to cross check that use it with this one 10 into 18 minus 2 16 160 kilometer so you know very clearly now a b equal to 160 kilometers not only that we know that the speed of the boat is 18 kilometer per hour so to solve these type of problems with respect to boat and the stream remember always steamer or stream for that matter remember that you will be given problems where either the distance is constant or the time is constant how that problems will be they will say in two hours the time will be constant you will say that in a certain time downstream it has covered this much same time it has covered upstream less kilometers then you have to find out the speeds but remember always this formula distance equal to speed into time distance equal to speed into time sometimes the time can be constant sometimes the distance can be constant you have to look into the problem but remember downstream the speeds will add up because you are going in the same direction upstream the speeds will be difference between the speed of the steamer and the speed of the stream or the speed of the river so that's how you can solve this problem we will solve some more examples as part of linear equations in one variable it's a competitive exam or generally whenever you see any competitive aptitude exams you will find this problem steamer or boat problem linear equations in one variable thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next session